What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 7,000 subs, guys, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, I've actually been getting a lot of questions about what tree stands I use while I'm out hunting or how high I'm getting up in the tree. Just a bunch of different questions on my Instagram and also on my YouTube. I've been getting a lot of comments about it, but I wanted to cover that in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the climber tree sand. Not a lot of people use a climber tree sand and that is just, it's crazy guys. In my opinion, the climber tree sand is one of the best tree sands to use and that's what I'm gonna cover today guys. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you guys here in a sec. Also guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say, make sure to go check out one of my recent videos. My twin brother just shot one of the biggest bucks of his life down in Southern Ohio. And it's one of my recent YouTube videos. So make sure to go check that out. It's a really cool video about us recovering the buck and the whole story behind the buck. But that is really cool. And also guys, if you are interested in buying any of my merchandise, I got hats and sweatshirts. Um, it's starting to get cold, so make sure to go pick up a sweatshirt. I would really appreciate the support, but um, let's get right into the video and show you guys how to set up the climber tree scent and how to use it. So we're going to go find a tree out here in the woods in my front yard. Well guys, before we go find a tree, I wanted to quickly show you how I have my whole tree stand set up, the climber tree stand. So if you guys have not seen these tree stands before, it comes in two separate pieces. So we got the bottom piece right here and the top piece, and I always ratchet strap them together tight. So when I'm carrying it out, it's not loose or anything, but also it comes with a super comfy seat. I usually don't use it because when I'm out in the tree stand, I usually am standing up. So if a deer pops up really quickly, I'll be ready to shoot. But every now and then, if I get tired, if my legs get tired, I'll use this seat. And there's my rope right here. I got the rope set up. So when I climb like probably 20, 25 feet up, sometimes 30 feet, that um, rope will I'll be able to pull my bow up so there's that and there is my pouch I usually carry all my stuff in there when we get out to find a tree I'll show you everything that I have set up in my pouch it's super nice a little bag to have to carry all my stuff and right here is the GoPro I'll use this for when I'm walking out you can see the whole view of where or the whole view of like what I'm looking at but it comes with some really nice straps, shoulder straps, to where you can carry it. I've actually had this tree stand for probably over five years, maybe something like eight years, I don't know, but the strap broke off up here, so I just rigged it with a rope. It works pretty good too, but let's go find a tree. I just wanted to quickly show you my setup with the climber tree stand, so Let's head that way and go find a tree. Well guys, we're getting ready to go find a tree somewhere out that way. I think I already know what tree that I'm gonna go to, but when you're getting this thing up on your back, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you just gotta lob it up or chuck it up on your back. Sometimes I'll use my back leg and chuck it up on my back. And hopefully you don't go down with the stand. But then you use these straps, it's pretty nice. All right, let's go guys. Well, this is the tree, guys. I found a good tree. <laughs> I actually already knew of this tree. I've taught a couple of my buddies how to climb, or how to use climber tree sands out of this tree. So it's a good tree, guys. It's taught a couple different people. So that's pretty cool. But now we're gonna get everything set up and 
I'm gonna show you guys how to climb this tree. You can probably get maybe like 20, 25 feet up in this tree, but I've done it before, but in today's video, I'm probably only gonna go something like 10 feet up just to show you guys the basics on how to use the climber tree stand. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off and get it hooked up to the tree. Well guys, we just found a good tree to show you guys how to set up the climber tree sand. This is a Summit climber tree sand. These are super good climbers. And these are usually like 100 to 200 bucks. So they're not super expensive. And I wanted to show you how to set it up on this tree. So we're gonna set it up real quick. And it's got these cables right here. Typically like every like, maybe like three to four years, they're gonna have to get new cables. I don't know if you, can see my cables right there they're kind of messed up so i probably need new ones but i'm going to show you how to set it up and with this tree right here you want to find a good solid tree that's going to be able to support you when you're up there in the tree and also it's really important what i think is this tree has really good bark and the teeth on your tree sand are going to be able to sit or grip into this bark really well and it's just a really good tree to sit in. So you're gonna wanna wrap that cable around the tree and lock it in. Right there, guys, it's got a bunch of different settings depending on the size of the tree that you're gonna sit in. But this tree, I have it locked into this setting. So I have the bottom on right there. And the climber tree sands, they're always two separate pieces. You got the bottom right here and then the top right here and normally a lot of people like right here you can hook up both of the the top and the bottom but I, typically i don't always hook up the bottom sometimes i'll hook up the bottom to the top if i'm going super super high or if i have to fix the bottom if it's angled up when i get up there but now we are going to set up the top and it's super easy guys see how fast i'm doing this this is why i like to use climber tree stands because if you're using a ladder tree stand they're just super heavy to get out in the woods and when you're using these climber tree stands you can move from one tree to another like that like if you see a deer like 50 60 yards that way you can get in a tree tomorrow morning right where that deer walks through but I'm gonna set this up and show you guys how to use the climber tree sand. It's super simple. I'm locking this in right now. And like I said, with the bark, you wanna find a good tree to where your teeth are gonna be able to grip in. There's a lot of different other trees where it has kind of like slippery bark and you don't really wanna get in those trees I don't know if you can see that little tree over there. But let's say this tree was like 16 to 24 inches wide. That's typically the tree that you want to get in with a climber. But see this bark? It's just super slippery and the teeth of your climber are not going to be able to sit into that. But the one over here that I'm in right now, you can see how this bark right here you can see that the climber already is eating into that um, bark so that is always a good tree to sit in well right now <clears throat> i'm gonna get up in here and the number one thing guys when you're sitting in any tree stand or if you're getting anywhere out in the woods make sure to always have your harness on when you're out in the woods going up in the tree but in today's video, I'm probably only gonna get up maybe like six foot, maybe four foot or something. Um, I don't wanna go too high without, the, without my harness on, but make sure to always have your harness on when you're out in the woods. So right now, guys, I'm gonna show you how to go up and down the tree. It's super simple. And if you get good at it, like I'm pretty good at it, you can go up and down the tree super fast. But right now I'm just probably gonna go up to like right here, something like that, just to show you how to use it. So right now, the first thing you wanna do is lift this up and see how it's a little high right there. Then I'll use my forearms and lean on this bar 
and you almost want to do like a kick up like a high knee with your legs and you want to tilt the bottom at like a 45 degree angle and then make sure your teeth are really gripping into that bar and I'm probably not going to go any higher than that but if you want to go higher when you're out in the tree you just want to keep doing that same thing moving the top piece up and then the bottom piece up with your legs but now that I'm going to go down you want to move this down it's basically just like the reverse of you going up but just move that piece down and make sure that it's always sturdy in the tree so it doesn't fall down but it's really easy guys also you can even sit on this if you want if you don't have you can move that down just a tad but i usually will sit down just like that guys and it's super simple to use the climber tree stand all right, so now that I just showed you guys how to use it, I'm gonna go up and down pretty quickly just to show you how to use it. So it's pretty easy, guys. Just go up like that. Just like that, and I'm up, and now I can go down. Super easy, guys. So now that I showed you how to use the climber tree stand, I'm gonna get out of it and show you how to get it off the tree. It's super simple, guys. Like, let's say you're hunting and you see a deer right over there, like maybe 50 yards. Like I said, it's super easy to move your tree stand. Like, if you had a ladder stand, like I said, it's just super hard with the ladder stand. It's really heavy and it's hard to move over there like 50 yards. And with the climber tree stand you can be sitting five ten minutes and see a bunch of deer go through a runway over there and just get down super fast and move over there and sit over there for the night hunt but it's really easy guys to get the climber tree stand off uh, see yeah, i did that and for uh, like 30 seconds but it's super easy guys and like i said when i'm when i'm hunting out in the woods i'm usually sitting probably 25 30 feet up depending on the tree or where i'm sitting and the main reason why i'm sitting so high there's three reasons why i sit so high when it's kind of windy like that it's sort of windy right now but your scent will stay up higher where the wind is so the deer aren't going to be able to smell you when they're walking down their runway or just through the tree or through the woods. The second reason why I get so high in the tree, like 25, 30 feet up, is because when you're higher up, you can see so much more of the woods. You can see deer coming super far away. If you're down on the ground, you're not gonna be able to see as far. And let's say a big buck's coming like 50 yards away, maybe even 100 yards. You're not gonna be able to see it when you're sitting on the ground, but that's why I get up so high. And the third reason is when the deer are coming through the woods, they usually can see like 15 feet high, 10 to 15 feet high. And we're, when you're up like 20, 30 foot, they're not gonna be able to see you. So that's just why I like to get up higher. But that's why I like to use the climber tree sand, guys. It's a really good tree sand. I really recommend it. And when you're out in the woods, make sure to always have your harness on because it's super important to be safe out in the woods. That's the number one thing. So thanks a lot for watching today's video and we'll see you guys in the next one.